Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Halajian. I am co-owner of Bombshell in Santa Monica, and I have been a hairstylist now for almost 10 years. I wanna talk about washing your hair today, which may seem like a super straightforward topic, but most of the questions I get as a stylist involve washing and conditioning and how it's done. In this video, I'm gonna share some tips and show you how to properly cleanse and condition from start to finish. I hope that by watching this video, you'll think of washing your hair as less of a chore and make it more of a relaxing ritual. If you can properly take the time to wash your hair, it'll not only feel clean longer, but it'll create a healthy environment for your hair to grow. I often have clients ask me how to choose the right shampoo and conditioner. And it's my rule of thumb, is just that you should choose a shampoo based on how your scalp feels and a conditioner based on how your ends feel. And it's different for each person so your stylist can help you choose what's best for you. Before I begin washing my model today, I think it's important to spend a few minutes really brushing the hair and scalp. I love to detangle with the Ibiza contour brush and the Glossy Nectar oil, starting gently at the ends and working up to the root. When you get to your scalp, don't be afraid to really put some pressure and brush that scalp and exfoliate, loosen any buildup. It's really important to use a brush with some board bristle to get that buildup and dandruff off your skin too. After looking at my model's scalp, I decided to use the Parifying Hair Bath, which really will help detox and cleanse any excess oil that might be lingering on your scalp. And for the conditioner, I'm using the Moisturizing Hair Mask to deeply hydrate and repair her ends. Another question I get asked a lot is how often should I wash my hair? And I used to tell people not to wash every day thinking it would dry their scalp out. But everyone's scalp produces oil differently, and if you want to wash every day, go for it. If you only want to wash once or twice a week, that's totally fine too. When I begin washing, I use about a quarter size drop of product first and move it around my palm just so I get a bit of lather going before I go straight for the head. Most people when they come to see me don't spend enough time washing the back, nape area, so I usually see a lot of buildup there. I'll usually add more shampoo and spread the hair open and get all the areas where people don't usually wash. So don't forget to take that extra minute to get all the way back in there and wash twice if you need to as well. I usually like to towel dry and squeeze out all the water before conditioning your hair. That way your hair can absorb that conditioner much better. I'm pretty heavy handed when using conditioner because I think it makes it a lot easier to comb and brush and I leave it on the hair for about five minutes or more to let the product moisturize. This is when I usually do a little scalp massage and get some nice blood circulation. Lastly, rinse with good water pressure and keep rinsing until you don't feel any more product left in the hair. We use eco heads in the salon that filter and help conserve water, but you can get a water softener to put over your shower head at home to really filter out Ellie's super hard water. Once I'm done rinsing my model, I'm prepping her hair with Cusco Murphy Dry Leave-In, Volumizing Root Spray, and Glossy Nectar to give her a smooth and butt bouncy blowout. I hope you learned something today from watching this video and that you're ready to give yourself the best shampoo you've ever had. Please let me and my team know if there's anything we can do to help you beyond this video and what else you'd like to see from us. Thank you so much and have a great day.